hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so these are my two devices one is mid-range device oneplus not 2 and another one is less known low-end moto g14 oneplus top row all the major updates for the oneplus not 2 after android 13 update so i have to need to use the android 14 custom rom on this device but this low-end device which i just bought for 8k got the major android 14 update by the motorola I didn't use this device so I didn't made any video till the date but when I got this big update it made me to review this update. It's very surprising Motorola is offering support for such low end devices and OnePlus ignoring their mid range devices which we bought for 28k Indian rupees. So today we are going to install this new update on Moto G14. We will review all the changes and the features that Android 14 given for this device. We will see the performance of the device after this big update for such low end device. Finally at the end we will check out the bugs that I found in this new update. After this video if I get the good response I will try to review all the new updates for this device. That's why if you are using the Moto G14 then please do like and share our video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications for review of all the new updates for this device. Now with the further delay, let's get started. It's a new Installation of new update is done and phone restarting to the new OS version. Previously this device was on Moto UI Android 13 build. Now they have started to roll out the big update of 2.8 GB of Android 14 for this device. Once phones reboots, we get the update complete notification in the status bar. Now we'll check out some UI changes and about device details of the new build. First thing you will notice about the settings panel change. Here we are getting some card like suggestions for the RAM boost, night light activation. In this way we will get the continuous suggestion in the settings so on. Let's check out the system update section. Here it's showing we are on the latest update now. If you check the update history previously, we are using the Julia build of Android 13 Moto UI. After that, we directly got this big update. So if you want this update, then you need to be on the Julia build of Moto My UX version. Security patch is also got updated to the latest August 2024, while old build was on the Julia security patches. Kana version is upgraded to the latest 5.15.123 while old build was on the 5.4.233. This one is a big upgrade of the kernel for the better stability and the performance. Build number of this update is UTLB34 while the last build has the build number as TLBS33.78. So the complete source code is changed here for new Android 14 for my UX version of Motorola. So definitely I recommend you to must upgrade to this build if you got this OTA. Now let's check out the new features of Android 14 available for this update. First is the new monochrome theme. It's a part of digital well-being but who gets the QS panel tile to enable this mode anytime. This will give the complete black and white theme for the whole system user interface of your device. This will be beneficial while using the device during the night time. Next is the new magnification modes. You will get the magnification settings under the accessibility. Here we get the three different magnification settings. One is the full screen, another is the magnifying only some part of the screen and third one is the switching between the full screen and partial screen magnification. While using the magnification, we can change the mode as you can check in this video. Next feature is a flash notification. This feature will help to glow up the display of the screen when you get any notification. We can set up the different colors for the flash notification. Next feature is the status bar notification for the access of any device feature by the running background application. Suppose if you open any app and it is using your device camera or a mic or any type of sensor, you will get its notification in a tiny icon in the status bar. This is the best feature to protect your device privacy if some apps are trying to access anything from your device. Next, when you install any new application, you can give access or can disable the access for anything separately 
like storage, sensors, location access, etc. So these are some major changes and features available for this new update. User interface is similar like old Android 13 with minor visual changes for the material you design. Next question lots of users of this low-end device will may ask, does this update improve the performance of this low-end device or not? The answer is definitely yes, everything is running smoothly without no hiccups. Even if this device has the low-end Unisoc chipset, but it is able to handle this new Android 14 update. Everything is running smoothly as device is low-end, I don't think Geekbench performance test is needed here, but still I did it for the user's requirement. I got the minimal score of 446 and 1230 for single and multi-core for the CPU. While for the GPU, I got the score of 511 for the both Vulkan and OpenGL graphics API. Scores are pretty much low, but don't think this device cannot handle the Android 14. It's running pretty smooth even though the lots of application and different stuffs were installed in this device. Does this build has any bugs or the missing feature? Then I got one missing feature, that is the no lost screen clocks and the no images wallpaper feature available under the wallpaper and style setting. You will get only one clock style for the lock screen here. So this is all about this new Android 14 update for this low-end Moto G14, but still it's running pretty good on this update without any issues. I think OnePlus also has to follow the strategy of Motorola to handle the updates of their devices, which are failing their acceptations like this Nord 2, which will never get the Android 14 update even after paying the price of mid-range devices. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, if I get the good response to this video, then I will definitely continue the videos for this device, that's why please share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.